Hi everyone, I've just come from doing um, a shop. Uh, so I want to also use it to talk about how this week went. So I lost, it was my first week of trying to eat more mindfully. Um, obviously eat more fruits, eat more veg. Um, and at the end of the week I lost two and a half pounds. The people who have way more like, um, like much bigger, you know, like losses after they eat start eating healthier but for me i guess it was like well just take this a step at a time and do what i need to do so basically what i'm going to do is just kind of like show you what i got and how i think i'm going to use it as i unpack it so i got um organic uh cucumbers and i'm going to use that for um lunch and dinner and other things um i particularly like green um greek salad I have here some strawberries, so you can get them two, two for three pounds, and I'm going to use them for breakfast um, together with like blueberries and stuff. I have salmon, which I will be making for dinner. This obviously is free. The strawberries and um, free foods are basically foods that you can um, eat um, according to the Slimming World plan and eat as much as you like. Um, that this I got because I want to start taking part in 5Ks and I got this in order to hang my medals. But I've actually seen um, proper medal hangers for races. So like I said, I don't want to just... For me, it's not about a number on a scale. Um, actually, it's not. that's not first and foremost what it is. It's about having a healthier body, a stronger body, more fit, be able to do things. So I'll start with this for now, but then I'll probably get the proper medal hanger later. Um, let's see what's in here. So chicken breasts. I've literally never bought chicken breasts um, my whole life because I usually don't find them to have a lot of flavor. But then um, this is free because it's skinless. I usually buy thighs with the skin on and everything or I buy a whole chicken, roast it and then divide it up. But I've decided that I'm going to dice this and then mix it up with um, spices and stuff cook a whole batch of it and then divide it up so I'll I'll maybe do a poster recipe video or something as I do that um, I'm going um, then this is what's this? these are the green beans so obviously again they're free I plan to put them in with the chicken um, what do we have here yeah almond milk so I'm, I've switched from dairy milk to almond milk um, if you, if you use almond milk on plant, this is your healthy extra A and you can have one liter of this. If you're using dairy milk, it's much less. I don't remember how much, but I remember thinking, oh, I probably want more milk. So I'm going to try this. So I got, um, three types because I wasn't sure what the difference is. Oh, and I also got coconut milk, um, because I thought I might use this like, um, yeah, just for breakfast and things. But and I said I got almond and sweet and pure roasted taste, the coconut milk. But then I also got um uh, the almond and sweet and soft and fresh taste. So I wanted to try what the difference is between the pure roasted taste and the soft and fresh taste. And which one I'll prefer because it's my first time to have them. Um what else did I get? Uh, I got some honey, so honey, one teaspoon of honey is two, since I'm going to, I'm going to check and put it at the bottom of the video. Uh, but yeah, because I, I was thinking I'll mix like a teaspoon of honey with soy sauce, soy sauce is free, with spices, and then do, use it for the chicken breast. Um, I got uh, broccoli, so obviously that's free, and I can throw it into things. Um... Fry light, right? So I I actually enjoy cooking. I've I kind of fell off the bandwagon of cooking, which is obviously <sighs> has to do with you know not eating mindfully and all of that. But I prefer using like you know like actual oil that you pour on or um, like uh, this. I got this the other day and stuff, um, and you know it just has such an amazing flavor and everything. But oil is one of um, where a lot of the sins come from. I hate the word sins, but, you know, that's the kind of the lingo that they use. Um, so if you use um, oil that's sprayed, 
so this one color is spray is fairy light basically then it is free um so because this time i'm just like you know what i just kind of want to do this and you know just do it seriously this time around so i'm just decided to use that so i have i have the olive oil and then i got the coconut oil so i'll see which one i prefer because i kind of like a coconut taste as well um measuring cups right now i already had some measuring thingy bobs but i think one of the things of eating healthier is that the things which you can eat without measuring so like fruits and veg like if they're raw or if they're made using um you know the fry lights cooking spray those you can eat without measuring but the other things that you need to measure so like your breakfast cereals and stuff like that so basically go out and buy some of these um oh also i saw a tip on somewhere in google where somebody was saying like if you want to know how much because i was looking for how much oats i should have by the way this is my first week on slip on the slimming world plan but i'm obviously adapting it because i think the plan can probably allow like way too much junk and i'm trying to like i said not just i'm not i don't just lose weight i actually want to be healthy but anyway so that's that's for another video but anyway so for breakfast if somebody said like this um the this basically is 35 grams of oats which to me i usually have maybe maybe i don't know what five times this or something because i just pour and pour until i'm satisfied so so yeah so this is one so this is why i thought okay right i'll then also then get fruits and then i can use to bulk it up uh, so onions obviously free um so so these are the oats that i got um i think there's this kind of like new craze of mixing this with like yogurt and fruits and then leaving it in the fridge but i actually quite like a hot breakfast in the morning even on hot days so like something at least warm you know so the milk would be warm this would be warm so yeah um sweet corn uh before i get to that so all the spices are free so you can you know just basically because you're cooking for yourself you're cooking from scratch but you can just kind of like get all the spices and things you need i mean i already have quite a big spice rack so i just needed to stock up on stock but yeah so then tomatoes got a huge um thing of tomatoes and that's free obviously lettuce I've, n I'm, I've never been a fan of lettuce because i usually find it bitter and in this um you know i don't want to force myself to eat things that i don't like because that's how i end up then like kind of you know binging on on like just stuff that's not very good for me but I, I want to kind of give lettuce another try and then because i actually tasted it somewhere else and it was mixing like with spinach and things and in a way that it ended up tasting quite nice i think i like it like when it's made greek salad style so with olives and tomatoes and whatever rather than just maybe like gardens i don't know but anyway i'll figure it out what and then yeah i'll tell you how that goes so this is a key thing that i've been learning from the internet basically um meal prep so i think one of the things that makes me not eat very mindfully is the fact that i'll come back i'm tired and either i'll just you know just i don't know start eating whatever is there but then like one of the things i've done is just you know like just taking out stuff that's just not good for me um and just being like you know what just just eat mindfully eat healthy eat eat what what's nourishing for your body um so yeah so too busy to then cook something and then maybe you end up getting a takeaway which is you don't know how much salt they've put in how much oil they've put in how much um sugar they've put in so the point is not so much that there's some good foods or bad foods it's not about moralizing foods also for me i don't want to do it about shaming bodies i don't want to i put a picture up of what i currently look like now on day one just because i want to remember but i have no intention of shaming my own or other people's bodies as a feminist i don't believe in that um i think you can be healthy at every size so for me it's just about look i just want to have a healthy strong body without 
you know, without kind of making myself feel gross or whatever. Anyway, so I was going to say, so I got quite a bit of this, but because I thought, well, I could spend a kind of a day. I like fresh fruits as well. So that's kind of why I've always resisted the idea of bulk cooking because I'm like, oh, won't I get bored? But then some things I think I'll be making fresh, like the salmon that doesn't take very long, salad or whatever. But then other things like I could probably just chop in advance so I could so I could chop the tomatoes and then put them in like put them in a thing of this chop the cucumbers put them in a thing of this chop um carrots put them in a thing like this so obviously you can buy some of these things like frozen already chopped for you but I was just like well I could just do it myself that way again I'm you know it's fresh it's doesn't have preservatives or whatever I thought you know I could um once I've made the chicken, I could split it up and then put it into small containers. So, which will just be then all I need to do is maybe like, you know, just kind of have different things. So basically I got loads of them. I think I got 10 of this and 10 of this. They were like 50p in Morrison's. So, I mean, it was, it kind of made my shop a bit more expensive, but I'm not going to be doing this every week. Um, what's the last food related thing? Oh, then I also got like um, food and freezer bags again for the same thing, just kind of like because I was also thinking like for the fruits, like the strawberries, berries, raspberries, which I'll mix up with bananas. So I'll kind of like um, portion out the, uh, the, the berries and then put them in like the bags. And then in the morning, it would just be a question of making the oats, um, cutting up the bananas and then mixing. And so because like. Chopping the uh, chopping and tailing, well, not chopping and tailing, <laughs> but chopping the ends of strawberries sometimes just takes me a while. And those are the small, small things that in the end mean that you're not doing as well as you want to. So then the final thing is olives. I quite like I quite like olives, uh, but I also realize maybe I like them because I never used to properly salt salads. I'm not a salad person, but I want to kind of learn how to make salads and enjoy salads and find the salads that I enjoy. Um, so this is eight olives is 1.5 cents. So, you know, so eight olives is still quite a bit and that's, you know, you still have five to 15 to do. So that's my, no, actually there's a bit more. Hold on. Yeah. Um, What else do we have here? So this is this is just coriander. Um, I got the live one, and then hopefully it will keep growing. Uh, I mean, move this. Like this. Um, yeah. So then here we have the. You know the raspberries that I was talking about. Sorry, this is my first time doing a video, so um, watercress, spinach, uh, bananas, which I got so that they can start ripening out. Uh, raspberries uh, and more raspberries. Okay, then let's see what else I have. I just have one more bag. Uh, so those are mushrooms, uh, peppers, I quite like peppers, cooked or raw, so I got a load of those. I should probably have unpacked first, <laughs> so I'll do that for the next video. Um, so this is spinach just on its own, I thought I could add, add either rockets or the lettuce and so on. So that's just baby spinach. Uh, what else? Oh, and then the blueberries for the berry banana thing. Oh, and this needs to go into the freezer. So that's just, um, garden peas. And more blueberries, more that. Yeah, so that's it. Um, so, hold on. Let's go back to where everything is. Yeah, so this is my, um, shop some of it will be for the week others will be like for longer like the the this 
what do I want to achieve? I basically, like I've said over and over, just want to kind of live healthy. Um, I want to start walking more. I want to start drinking more water. Oh, which reminds me, I got a a, a big jug of water. So just hold on and I'll get it for one minute. Sorry about that. Um, this just came in today, which I'm really excited by. Um, it's 64 ounces. So that's like almost two liters. For some reason, you can't get it in the UK. So I just bought it on Amazon um, and had it shipped. Um, so let me open it and then you can see what it looks like. I live in quite a small space for now. I absolutely love it, but it's a studio flat. So, you know, kind of need to get used to videoing whilst doing this okay so there you go so i hope to drink one of this of water every single day wait one no actually it's a 2.2 .2 liter bottle yeah so yeah just make sure that i drink one of this of water every day i might maybe have that plus this because i'm trying to have three liters um this is just a regular this is just a regular bottle and this is yeah like i said i got it on amazon i don't remember how much but yeah, I'm quite pleased that I have this now. Uh, right. Okay, so see you in my next video. Bye.